Hi there, welcome back to the dojo. This is uh, Russ Leach, I am a comic book black belt. And uh, today's video is uh, a look at uh, four of the pieces, um, sorry, five of the pieces that I thought worked best out of my uh, run on Draw the Marvel Way. Um, and actually they're, they're probably the pieces that I would pick out as being the, the most enhanced by color. Um, they had a great colorist on the book called uh, James O'Freddy. Uh, he's done a lot of other uh, stuff uh, in comics. Uh, very, uh, very experienced and very, very talented. And I picked out these images as the ones that, that, that hit me most. I mean, all of them, all the stuff that he colored was wonderful and it came out really well. Um, but these are probably my five favorite. Um, as in, they were the biggest uh, difference between the inks and the colours, the, the, the biggest impression that uh, was made on me. Uh, before we get going, um, I've already started uh, putting out videos about my new book next year called uh, Only Death Can Save Us. Uh, it's a book about uh, death. Uh, the character of death, uh, his nickname is D. Um, that's uh, what his uh, his partner uh, Chrissy, who I'll, I'll, I'll inform more about later on uh, when I get into more videos about the characters and the production of the book. Uh, D call, uh, Chrissy calls him D, and um, he's uh, he's come out of retirement to fight the forces of evil. Uh, it's uh, it's a cosmic Bronze Age inspired journey. So if you're interested in that at all, uh, hopefully you are or in any other uh, aspects of my art or the channel. Um, and also, obviously, when the, if, I, if I do do a Kickstarter or Indiegogo, when that gets going, um, make sure and sign up for the email uh, subscription list. The links are in the description for this video below. But also, you can go to my website, russleach.com, comicbookblackbelt.com. I find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, or go to onlydeathconsavers.com and you can sign up for the email list there. Also, remember, please like, share and subscribe. Um, subscriptions, those people that have subscribed, thank you so much. I'm getting more and more and I'm able to talk to more and more people about my art, about comics and in return, if they want to talk to me about theirs, always, always happy to see um, comments in the comment section and drop me uh, drop me a note about the art that you're doing uh, I'd really like to see some of it so I'll carry on with this video um, and uh, go through these uh, samples the, the first one that I'm going to pick out is a, a Venom piece it was very early on in my run and um, what I'm going to do with each one is I'm just going to flick up the sketch work and the pencils and the inks before I get to the colours so you can see how the, the piece was built um, the, you can see what I've done run through from the basic figure, put in the uh, musculature, anatomy, um, and then uh, penciled over with the costume and the, the effects and what have you. And then in goes the inks. Um, my inks, uh, for the most part, are digital, uh, but I try to approach them like I approach traditional inks. Uh, so I try not to put too many effects on. Um, and. Uh, I like to use uh, VFX brushes, uh, although uh, I'm going to be transferring from Photoshop over to uh, Clip Studio for some some work. So um, I'll see how the brushes work in there. And there's James's colours laid in over the top. I, I just thought it was an amazing effect between the two. Well, I've just popped in the colours there instead of the, the tech, uh, the sketch. Uh, then we go on to Nightcrawler. Again, quite a simple piece, really. Um, I feel it was quite dynamic because of the, the pose and, and how I stretched the limbs toward the, the viewer. Uh, and I was quite pleased with the inks. Again, pretty simple inks. But then the lighting and the depth that James creates with his colours over the top of this, it blew me away. Uh, it just, it, it changed, it changed the image for me. Um, so, uh, and, and like the lighting on the, on the facial features is, uh, is lovely. And then on to the next one. Um, this one, it, it, this is a bit of a sort of a Kirby Boosomer um, tribute piece. Um, in fact, this one and the one at the end both are really. Um, as you can see, I'm running through the, the basic bodywork and the sketches, and uh, it, I wanted it to be a really powerful piece. Uh, Galactus is obviously super powerful, 
as far as characters from the Marvel Universe are concerned. Um, and I wanted to get the Kirby crackling as well. Um, and give it that, that feel, that, that Bronze Age look. And then, which I thought I did reasonably well, I was very pleased with the piece in the end. Very, very much, uh, very happy with it. Would very much put that in a portfolio at any point in time. And then the colours came in. And the lighting, uh, obviously your inks must create some of the lighting themselves. But the colours that went in over the top of this just blew me away. The, the lightning for the power, the energy, the, the power cosmic that uh, Galactus was wielding there and the way the surf was, was uh, so delicately coloured and then the whole of the lighting on Galactus's face and body. Superb. Just James just did such a fantastic job there. Uh, on to the penultimate one. Um, this is on the Rainbow Bridge. This is Heimdall. Um, he's the protector, protector of, the, of the bridge. And um, as you can see, I've put in the, the, the musculature. I wanted to make sure the muscle, the, the anatomy was absolutely spot on because you're looking up an odd angle because you're looking up from underneath the bridge. And um, there we go. There's the inks. Again, very pleased with my inks on this. Uh, you know, had some spatter effects as well. And uh, I felt it really... Uh, it was clean and it worked really well but then the colors came in and just wow the highlights on the armor um, the highlights on the shield there the sky so very subtle then picking out the Kirby crackle crackle and then this actually works best from a distance I love what he did with the rainbow bridge the bright colors with the the, the uh, murkier sort of darker back uh, background to it and the figure and then the final piece, this really is very much a uh, uh, an homage to uh, the, the work that I love, the, the art and the, the comic books that I love. You can see what I've done, I've like, detailed in over the face, over the basic sketch and put in the anatomy. Um, and then the final pencils here where I pick out the costumes and uh, all the, the, the uh, tech detail uh, in the ship where he's looking through. He's either against a big screen or looking through a large window in his spaceship out at Ego, the uh, the living planet, uh, the old rendition of Ego, the living planet. Um, and I just, the difference between my inks and those colors that James has put in, it just, I can't tell you how much it, it blew me away when I first saw this piece come back. Um, I mean, the lighting on Galactus is wonderful, but, but that, the face of Ego, the whole planet, uh, just the textures he's put in there as well as the lighting um, and uh, the depth he's created and and I think all these I'm really pleased with these these are the ones that hit me most but I think in general just to be able to work with a team of people if you're a penciler and you work with a great inker or if you're a penciler and, ink, and an inker and you work with a great colorist uh, and then not to leave out uh, things like um, lettering and graphics over the top hugely important so to be able to work with other people to collaborate on comics in general rather than just just art projects but comics it's incredibly satisfying to see other people uh, produce their best over hopefully your best and uh, I, I was just so pleased with the way that that came out so um while i uh, finish off this video i'm just going to leave you with that that final image uh, which is probably my favorite from the whole run to be honest there's so i have so many favorites but if i'd have to pick one i think i'd probably have to pick that one because of james's colors on on ego the living planet so um thanks for watching thanks for sitting with me through the last five or six minutes of me rambling on about things that i like <laughs> um but i wanted to share that with um with my subscribers with with viewers with other artists so that they could see so, so that they could understand my pleasure in um, working with other artists who are who I really respect and, and find um, that their work just stuns me constantly. And the pleasure you get of working with other, other artists and really good ones at that. Um, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for joining me in the dojo today. Like I say, uh, hit the subscribe button if you can. If you can't, then hit the like button if you like 
obviously if you don't I, <laughs> that's not going to be good for me um but hopefully i'm producing content that people like and uh it's honest it's this uh, i don't edit these bits where i talk to the camera i uh i just talk and and uh, do my best to be honest and open about my work and about the way i feel about comics and um hopefully you'll come along and join me uh, on the journey uh, the, the the other journey I have going on obviously is my graphic novel which uh, which hopefully will be out next year and um, as I said I've started doing videos for that so you'll be able to follow the production right the way through from its concept all the way through to the finished product it will take a long time it's going to be slow because I do have other clients that I really must service but you'll be there with me if you continue to watch which would be great it would be lovely to have you um, all the links are in the uh, the description. Uh, leave me a, a, a note and um, I'll see you again in another video in the dojo again real soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share or subscribe and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.